There are a couple of recipes that are the quintessential summer recipes always served up at parties and barbecues. I showed you one of these last week with my potato salad recipe, and this week I'm showing you how to make an easy and tasty coleslaw recipe. Now when it comes to coleslaw, people usually fall into one of two camps. Those who love a mayonnaise-based coleslaw and those who despise it. So today I'm gonna show you two ways to make coleslaw a classic or traditional version with a mayonnaise-based dressing, and another version that is oil and vinegar-based. Both coleslaw recipes are delicious, healthier than anything you can buy in the store, and the oil and vinegar version can also easily be made vegan by simply swapping the honey for maple syrup. So let me show you how to make them. I like coleslaw that's full of color, so I'm using both green and red cabbage today, but the color choice is yours. To get started, give your cabbage a wash and remove the outer leaves. Slice off the stem and then stand the cabbage on the flat bottom so that you have a stable surface to slice through. Once it's cut in half, lay it flat on the cutting board and cut it into quarters. Then remove the core by cutting diagonally across the bottom of each quarter. Slice the cabbage into thin slices, then cut across this once or twice so that your pieces aren't so long. Another little trick is that when you're getting towards the end of one of the quarters and it becomes unstable to slice through, flip it on its side and then continue slicing through it. For this recipe, I'm using three quarters of a green cabbage and a quarter of red cabbage, but again, you could use different ratios of each. You just want one whole cabbage in total, and I'll talk about that more when we get to the dressing. So we'll do the same thing with the red cabbage, Thinly slice this up and then add it to a large mixing bowl with your green cabbage. To make this coleslaw recipe extra vibrant, I love adding carrots. And the easiest way to do that is to grate them on a box grater. So grate three carrots, and if you can, try to keep them at more of an upright angle so that the grated pieces are a little bit longer. Add the carrots to your mixing bowl, and yep, it's just those three ingredients in this classic coleslaw recipe, plus the dressing. So let's talk about the dressing. Many coleslaw recipes are not exactly healthy because they're loaded with quite a bit of sugar, but not this one. I start with one cup of my homemade mayonnaise, then add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of honey, and that's the only sugar in this entire recipe, one teaspoon of celery seed, and make sure it's celery seed and not celery salt, then a quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Give it a good stir until it's nice and creamy, and then pour it on top of your cabbage and carrots. You can always play around with the ratio of cabbage to dressing, and feel free to add more cabbage if you'd like it slightly less creamy, or add less cabbage if you'd like it slightly more creamy. It's really up to you. Once everything is all mixed together, you can transfer it to a serving bowl and enjoy. Or if you're making this for a party, you can absolutely make it the day before. And I personally think coleslaw is even more delicious the second day after all of the flavors have melded together. So remember that this is a great recipe to use for meal prep as well. But for those of you who fall into the I despise mayo camp, let's whip up a vinegar-based mayo-free coleslaw recipe. We'll slice our cabbage just as we did before, and this time I'm using only green cabbage, but again, feel free to experiment with different colors and varieties. So I'll slice one whole cabbage and place that in a mixing bowl. This time I'm only grating one carrot, though my carrot is a bit on the large side, so I'm probably getting a little extra. And then I'll add some onion. Cut an onion in half and slice down through the middle of the onion, just so we don't end up with pieces that are too long, then thinly slice it and add it to the mixing bowl. And that's it for this version of coleslaw. For the vinegar dressing, we'll need one third cup apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of honey, though you could always add more if you'd like it sweeter, one teaspoon of celery seed, and a quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper. You also wanna add a half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, which I almost forgot, but thank goodness I remembered when I was whisking. And that's why you should always print the recipe off my website and not try to go from memory like I was doing. Then pour the dressing on top of the cabbage, give this coleslaw a stir, and enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
Even if you like a traditional mayo-based coleslaw, I think you should give this vinegar version a try as well. Both are delicious, and then you can let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss next week's video.